Hey there, growth getters and world changers. Yes, you heard me right, world changers. Because if you're here watching this video, you're not just any ordinary couch potato, you're a potato with a plan. Now, you might be thinking, whoa, I just came here to find out how to stop watching cat videos at 2 a.m. and now you're calling me a world changer? Well, yeah, exactly. You see, taking control of your life isn't just about managing your time or being productive. It's about transforming yourself in the best possible version and trust me, that's a version that can and will change the world. Welcome aboard our future world changers. Buckle up, because today we're about to embark on a wild ride to the land of self-control, dopamine detox, and the magic of small changes. So grab your popcorn, or maybe a salad because, well, health first, sit back, and let's get this show on the road. And hey, what about subscribing to the channel and getting into our favorite category? We're here today to talk about one of the most important things in life, taking control of it. You know, it's easy to feel like we're just along for the ride like life is a runaway train and we're just passengers. But let me tell you something, that's not how it has to be. But here's the thing, too many of us are guilty of wasting precious time. We get caught in the loop of procrastination, mindless scrolling, and binge watching. Essentially, leading a life on autopilot. Believe me, we have all been there. Now, when we talk about taking control of our lives, it's important to remember that this doesn't mean that we have to have everything figured out. In fact, life is full of twists and turns, and it's perfectly normal to feel uncertain about what the future holds. However, what we can do is take control of our present and our actions, which will ultimately shape our future. One way to start taking control is by setting goals. Goals give us a sense of direction and purpose and help us to focus our efforts on what's truly important to us. When setting goals, it's important to make them specific, measurable, attainable, relevant, and time-bound. Smart. This way, we can track our progress and celebrate our successes along the way. Another important aspect of taking control is learning to say, no. Saying no can be difficult, especially when we're used to saying yes to everything and everyone. However, saying no is essential for setting boundaries and prioritizing our own needs. It's okay to put yourself first and take care of your own well-being. Now, before we dive into deeper solutions, it's crucial to understand the causes behind our lack of control. Some of these causes include Number one, lack of self-awareness. If we don't know what we truly want, it's impossible to take control of our lives. Self-awareness is the first step towards regaining control. Number two, fear of failure. Many of us hold back from taking control because we're afraid of failing. However, failure is an integral part of the learning process and should not be a reason to avoid taking charge. Number three, Perfectionism. The desire to be perfect can be paralyzing. Instead of focusing on perfection, we should aim for progress. Now, you might be thinking, okay, but how do I actually make it happen? Well, one thing you can do is a full dopamine detox. You see, we live in a world that's constantly bombarding us with distractions and instant gratification. Social media, video games, Netflix. They all give us a quick dopamine hit, but they don't really fulfill us in the long run. A dopamine detox is a way to reset your brain and start enjoying the little things in life again. It involves cutting out all the things that give you that quick dopamine hit for a period of time, and instead focusing on things that are truly meaningful to you. It could be reading a book, going for a walk, or spending time with loved ones. There's actually scientific evidence that supports this. In a study published in the journal Nature Neuroscience, researchers found that overstimulation of dopamine receptors can lead to decreased motivation and pleasure-seeking behavior. By taking a break from those things that overstimulate our dopamine receptors, we can actually increase our motivation and enjoyment of life. No, 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 don't worry. We are not asking you to give up on all things fun. 
Dopamine Detox, as supported by a study conducted by Cal Newport, author of Digital Minimalism, is about purposeful abstinence from dopamine triggering activities like social media, gaming, or even excessive sugar consumption. It's like a little holiday for your brain. And trust us, your brain deserves a vacation. It's been working overtime while you were busy binge watching that new series last night. Now let's talk about the actual protocol for a dopamine detox. This is what you need to do. Identify dopamine triggers. Make a list of activities or habits that give you instant gratification but aren't truly productive or beneficial in the long run. Set a detox period. Choose a specific time frame for your detox, whether it's a day, a weekend, or a week. Plan alternative activities. During your detox, fill your time with meaningful, productive, or creative pursuits that align with your goals and values. Reflect and evaluate. At the end of your detox, take time to reflect on your experience and evaluate the benefits. This will help you incorporate healthier habits into your daily life moving forward. Now let's talk about how we can change your life one tiny step at a time. It's like climbing a mountain. You don't just teleport to the top, unless you've got some cool sci-fi gadget we don't know about, in which case, do share. You take it one step at a time. This concept, also known as Kaizen, is a Japanese philosophy that means continuous improvement. It's about making small incremental changes that, over time, lead to significant improvements. And the best part? It's backed by science. Research shows that small, achievable goals lead to a higher rate of success. This process of taking one tiny step at a time can look different for everyone. Maybe it's as simple as waking up 10 minutes earlier than usual. Or perhaps it's reading five pages of a book each day. Regardless, the goal here is to make these changes so small that they're almost laughably easy. And then, as you get comfortable with one change, you can stack another change on top of it. Before you know it, these small changes will compound and you'll find yourself living a drastically different, more controlled life. But taking control of your life isn't just about actions. It's also about mindset. Instead of seeing obstacles as insurmountable barriers, we need to view them as challenges to overcome. We need to cultivate a growth mindset, which, according to Stanford psychologist Carol Dweck, can significantly impact our success and happiness. Another important aspect of mindset is self-compassion. Self-compassion involves treating ourselves with kindness and understanding, rather than harsh self-criticism. When we practice self-compassion, we can reduce our stress levels, improve our well-being, and ultimately become more resilient in the face of challenges. Research has shown that self-compassion can have a powerful impact on our mental health. In a study published in the journal Mindfulness, researchers found that individuals who practiced self-compassion had lower levels of anxiety and depression and higher levels of life satisfaction. Now, you may be wondering, why should I go through all this effort? The benefits of taking control of your life are vast. They include increased happiness. As per the research, those who feel in control of their lives report higher levels of happiness. Improved health. Those in control are more likely to engage in healthy behaviors, leading to improved physical health. Greater success. People who feel in control of their lives tend to achieve more in their personal and professional lives. So if you're ready to stop wasting your life and take control instead, you're in the right place. We've got your dopamine detox protocol ready, and we're all set to change your life one tiny step at a time. Remember, the key to taking control of your life is not about making drastic changes overnight. It's about learning to steer the ship slowly but surely in the direction you want to go. And of course, don't forget to enjoy the journey. So that's it for today, folks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe if you found this video helpful. And remember, you're the captain of your life. So take the wheel, chart your course, and let's set sail. And hey, don't forget to laugh a little on the way. Life's too short to be taken too seriously.